one girl, so I can't okay. be canceled for anything no, no, like, sexual, yes. which is okay. great. That's actually, most guys have to fear that. Yes. No, I was gonna say it's actually really f scary for white straight men out there. I always tell my guy friends, I'm like, you can't even. It's it's like the the word in like for judges. It's like there can't even be like an ounce of impropriety. Like it can't even look appear like there was. Yeah. You know what I mean? because these days, like if you send a sketchy message and she screenshots that, you're screwed. All right, guys, we got Raquel here today, and we both have ADHD. We do. We were just bonding about uh, it. Yeah. Um, uh, I don't even know what to call that, but yeah, we were bonding. Yeah, it was the the Adderall coffee, and uh, I don't know what the third one was anymore. Adderall coffee. Adderall. I had a little Xanax phase, but I'm, I'm past yeah, that. Yeah, that's not really my thing. I'm, but but I need no more no more uppers anymore. That's yeah. not a it's not a good vibe to get yeah, off. Yeah. I don't know, but conservatives aren't allowed to say that out loud. But that's the thing. It's like, you all take Adderall, okay? Right. Just say it. Like, admit <laughs> it. Like, you're skinny. Like, you know, I've seen you eat a few burgers. Yeah. Just, that you on the Ozempic wave yet? Um, honestly, I have been getting a lot of Ozempic ads. Like, the skinny yeah. this, skinny that. Um, I get a lot of hate for promoting um, how much I hate fat people. So, <laughs> But it's honestly just like I'm fat shaming myself. Because I was like, I really just don't want that to be me. So if yeah. I fat shame enough, then like if I ever do get fat, people are going to be like, Didn't, are you the girl Facts. who hates fatties? Some accountability. Yeah. Were you fat growing up? Um, I was a little bit chubby i definitely could have lost a weight or two um okay. definitely yeah it, i think it builds personality that's why i'm a bit funny and unhinged i was the opposite i was a twig oh you were a twig. i was 130 pounds were you like forced to eat they told you to eat more uh they told me they're gonna inject i me thought with i once. ate a lot but i, I guess i didn't because i was also a runner oh so i would okay. just run it off so you're a skinny little i feel like you're like skinny. behind the board like yeah i'm keyboard, a nerd i'm a crypto little. nerd crypto bro yeah, yeah, yeah i could see it with the sneakers day everyone else suited up he's like sitting yeah, behind pulled, the desk yesterday i was in sweatpants today this is like dressing up but for this me. is no but that's good do your thing like be you be real that's yeah. what that's what it's about that's why that's another thing about like conservatism in general i kind of have a new brand my my own brand of because like this is you your hoodie this that yeah. everyone has their own shtick everyone does their own thing you know what i mean like it's not i hate being pigeonholed and mm. i think it's really i think it's actually harmful to the movement in general and i've found that in general like so i'm based in new york city i get a lot of hate from like uh some conservative groups these really? days yeah so um there's a group of people i won't say who they are but they've been uh They've been coming after me for throwing my parties. Really? I've been doing these Make America Hot Again parties. I've been getting a new, uh, a new, a group of people, a wave of people in the Republican Party who wouldn't normally care about politics, wouldn't normally want to like socialize with people based on political affiliation. And they've been coming out to my parties and interested and having fun. And they're girls like me who want to talk about dumb. I, I almost had to sit there <laughs> when I said there because I was like, I can't you're remember. Good, good. I swear not. Okay, good. Um, but, you know, people who like, like, like there's that clip, I like shopping, tanning, and celebrity gossip. I like all those things, but I also care about politics. I, you know, I was a lawyer. I, I, I have a brain, you know, but I also do, it's, it's so much more palatable when you like make things funny and chill. And some people have a stick so far up their ass and it's like, bro, you are not a f politician. Sit down. Um, take the stick out of your ass, relax, just be a normal person. It's not that serious. Yeah. And all I was doing is throwing parties for conservatives and we were calling it Make America Hot Again. That's and, hilarious. And you were getting canceled for that? Well, not canceled, but a lot of people in the conservative movement were like, oh, she's t like, why do you care? I'm <laughs> getting more people involved in politics and I'm getting, if you have a conservative event, look around the room, okay? How many women are there? My events were 50% women, 50% male, and that just doesn't happen. So the fact that I got so many women to like show up and care yeah. and like be interested and people are like, how'd you do it? I was like, I made a pink poster. It sounds <laughs> insane. I'm like, sometimes we are that simple as creatures and I'm not saying women are stupid, but like I like pink. So I made a pink poster. You yeah. Know? You should have seen the Tucker Carlson conference I was at. Yeah. 99% uh, white guys. Yes. No woman. But that's, that's what I'm saying. But like you can be, that's what I don't like. And the other thing is like, we brought this up today too, when we we're all talking about, you know, women in conservatism too. And like, you know, the trad wife thing, how like a lot of people push like for a trad wife. That's not, I will never be a trad wife. I will never be a trad wife. And people are like, if you're conservative, you have to think this. Don't get me wrong. Like I want a husband. I want kids one day. Um, someone asked me, she's like, oh, but do you ever want to get married? I'm like, yeah, eventually. But like right now I'm chilling. I'm having fun. Like, am I not allowed to have fun if yeah. I'm a conservative? And like, <laughs> that's the whole stigma. Like I want more young, young people to care about politics. And like, for me, it's being a social, like I'm, I'm very open. I've always been open. I talk like this, but I, as a conservative, you're not allowed to like have fun. They're like, oh, you can't drink. You can't do this. Yes. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Just my my politi my politics don't identify my entire personality, right. even though I, unironically enough, have made it my entire personality. Um, 
It's ironic, that, right? Yeah. That's why I don't label myself. Because yeah. I don't want to be grouped into something. Exactly. Like, I just want to be myself. You're like, I'm just a normal guy. And that's what I don't get. And, like, even, you know, with the date right stuff, like, John has this line where he says, I'm not crazy, whatever. I'm just a normal guy from 15 years ago. Which is, like, that is so real. Mm. It's just, you're, I just call out how it is. You know, I like to make skinny jokes. I like to make jokes about being DEI. Like, I just say crazy <laughs> and because no one else says it. Yeah. DEI is a funny one right now. I, I, I was sitting beside a guy on the plane last night who was wearing a sweater, okay, that said DEI recruiting. You can't make this no. up. I thought it was a joke. So I initially saw it. I burst into laughter. Like, I can't control myself in public. I, yeah. I, I just started <laughs> laughing because I thought it was a joke. I was like, I want one of those. Like, I was almost about to go up to him and be like, yo, bro, can I get one? And then he was on the phone on Zoom. I love eavesdropping. My favorite hobby of all time. So he is talking on the phone. He's like, oh, I'm headed to the White House. And Whoa. I was dying of laughter because I was like, obviously this man wearing the DEI <laughs> sweater is headed to the White House. Good U.S. tax dollar is being put to this. Wow. So the yeah. White House has a DEI person? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have a DEI recruiter. That I think it's a crazy. DEI recruiter or recruit or like something. I don't know. That's DEI nuts. something. I mean, they say Kamala was a DEI hire as VP. Exactly. So, but I just found it funny that he was like, no, that's actually, hilarious. And he's like flexing like loud. That like, shirt would on probably sell like as a meme. Right? Like that, I, that, I think someone sent me a link to one because I posted it on my story and someone was like, wait, you could actually buy these. Yeah. And I was like, no way. That's like wearing the dare shirts. Yes. Well, I was really hoping today we would get Project 2025 shirts because I oh, just thought that would be funny. Like, I just like with people. I like doing crazy stuff. So it's like, yeah, I, I, I would. Uh, maybe I could cancel. Who no, knows? Like, I haven't been canceled yet. But really? Which is shocking. Really? Yeah. So what's your? What do you think? Okay, if you were to ever not me switching this around, if you were to ever get canceled, what would it be for? That's what I want. So I've know. only hooked up with one girl, so I can't okay. be canceled for anything no, no, like, sexual, yes. which is okay. great. Because most guys have to fear that. Yes. No, I was gonna say it's actually really scary for white straight men out there. I always tell my guy friends, I'm like, you can't even, it's it's like the the word in like for judges, it's like there can't even be like an ounce of impropriety. Like it can't even look, appear like there was, yeah. you know, what I mean? because these days, like if you send a sketchy message and she screenshots that. You're screwed. You're yeah. Never sent nudes, so I'm good, good. on that. Good. But even if my nude got leaked, I mean, yeah, like, I, I don't cares? think I'd care. Just makes you look good. Like, yeah, it's whatever. Like, like, that's like, what you, if you're going to send photos, like do it in a, <laughs> like, make America hot again. Yeah. That's so Thing. Yeah, so I don't know what it would be, honestly. Yeah. Like everything that most guys get canceled for, I don't really have to worry about. Yeah. Like so. what's what's the craziest thing you've ever said? You're like, I'm not repeating it. This is a trick. I don't know, yeah. I, if I did say something crazy, it's probably years ago when I was yeah. just like a dumb teenager. Or, or like something. did you did you delete all your old tweets? No, I still have them, so maybe okay. there's something there. there. I went through mine and there was some crazy ones. I was like, pretty there was, wild. Like I would I would like tweet out the R word. Like I would say yeah. like I love retard. I would say retard, but like I like But I, I used tweets. to say that word yeah, too. But I'm like, but that now I'm bringing it back. I'm bringing back retard because the thing is it's like the Michael Squat quote. It's like you can't call your you call your friends retards when they're being retards, you don't call a retarded person retarded. Right. So it, it's all about connotation. Yeah. But that was anyways, a normal word back in the day. Exactly. And you know what the my favorite genre of movies, okay? I'm a bit older than you. So if you go watch like any 2000s like college movie, they are so funny to rewatch because they're like, <laughs> you fag, like that's retort. Like they're so funny. And that's what I'm like, bring back that era of just right. like not giving a because no one was recorded. No one always had a phone out. Like now everyone's always recording. Everyone has a phone out. Like everything is caught. Like any text you say will be used against you. Yep. So, but the thing is, they could enjoy themselves. They can say whatever. It wasn't even controversial to call your friend a fag. And you it's never like, thought about it. Yeah. It's like, it's like I'm not going to call a, a gay person a fag. But if my friend is something, like, if I have a male friend who's acting like a fag, I'm going to yeah, call him a I fag. Called male, I called straight friends gay. Like, exactly. that was normal back then. Exactly. But, but, but it's like, I just, anyways, so th to me, it's like a cultural war. And that's why I just, like, that's when I started, like, caring. Yeah. Well, now even comedians are getting canceled, which exactly. is crazy to and me. It's crazy. And, like, the thing is, a comedian is supposed to say offensive and that's what makes them so funny. Yeah. Like, truly. And if they can laugh at themselves, that's the best form of that. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it just blows my mind. Because even Schultz, who just had Trump, yeah. he's getting shows canceled. Oh, really? Because, because he did that. Interesting. And that's like, damn, like, it's affecting his his livelihood at that point. Yeah. Well, so for me, my favorite stand-up comedian of all time is obviously Donald Trump. Um, <laughs> like, he just says some crazy shit. Like, actually, like, he is a stand-up comedian. And I don't know if he knows he's that funny, but, like... I watch clips of him, but I'm like, man, this guy is hilarious. Yeah. I'm like, you can't even make this shit up. Like that debate performance, uh, honestly, which one, Hillary? The well, all of them. Yeah. Honestly, all of them. But like, 
pure comedic gold. Like those sound clips, <laughs> I don't even know. Sometimes when I hear people using like a TikTok sound of like, you're eating the cats, you're eating, I'm like, are you making fun of Trump or like <laughs> defending him? Because at this point, like it's, it's so good. It's, and that's what I like about him too. Like he can laugh about it too. Yeah. Were you always pretty conservative? I was always conservative. Oh, wow. I was like the, I was the, but actually fun fact, I'm Canadian. Whoa. I can't vote. Whoa. Uh, but I'm a patriot to a country that's not my own. Wow. And I have a visa and I've been here legally. So it's like, that's the thing. I'm not an, you know, that's what makes me interesting. Because yeah. like, people are like, why do you hate on immigrants? And I was like, do you know how much money I spent and how much time I put into like paying lawyers, doing paperwork, like doing what I have to do to be in this country? Because like I care and I want to be here legally. I pay taxes in this country. So, you know, to me, people like me who are educated, etc., have their shit together, are patriotic towards a country that's not their own. Those are the kind of people, like, to me, that you would want in your country. Facts. I lived in Canada. I've seen the decline of Canada over the last 10 years. It's literally turned into a communist country. People don't understand this. So if I get sent a link and I'm visiting my parents, um, I can't open a lot of links in Canada. They're Whoa. banned. They are banned. Like, it says you cannot view, view this page in Canada. That's And nuts. it'll be like a social media thing or whatever. And you, you, you just can't open it. That's so Isn't crazy. that But people don't realize. And I'm like, and the thing about can Canadians is they're so timid. They so, like, no one will say anything. No one gives up. I'll be the person to be like, I'm not wearing masks. This is insane. <laughs> like, we are all forced to get vaccinated. There Damn. was there was no you way. You had to get it? I had to get it. I got one shot of Johnson Johnson, which okay. is like the least effective one. So, like, I so feel at least like you can get all four. Yeah, but, <laughs> <laughs> but like, it, it was just insane. But the reason we had to get it is we weren't allowed in America as a Canadian, you were not allowed to go to the U.S. if you didn't have a vaccine. Wow. And the thing is, because my background is law, I was like, I can't like, you know, some of my friends were like, just get a fake one. And I was like, yeah. I actually can't do that because I would get, I would get yeah. I was like, I could never practice if anyone found out or any, like it was too big of a risk for me. And that's the thing. Like there's people in my position who like, I've done everything I was asked. I've done everything I was asked to be in this country. Like Canada had the longest lockdown in North America, in Toronto. In North America, and I went home, I was living in London at the time, I went home to Canada for a bit, and I was there, and I was miserable. So I just became the uh, the quarantine queen. <laughs> I would fly to a different country. I'm not kidding. I Guys, five-star hotels in Mykonos, okay, were a bargain during Damn. the pandemic. I told I, I was traveling left and right. I lost followers every day. I was like, wasn't <laughs> even on social media at this point. I was getting canceled. And everyone was like, oh my God, you can't post that you're in Florida. I was like, why? It's a free state of Florida. <laughs> God bless Ron DeSantis. I'm like, this is amazing. But I remember people getting canceled for traveling during COVID. And the thing is, I never even like was a big going out person. I started love going to clubs as soon as the pandemic hit yeah. because I just wanted to post <laughs> that I, like just to piss everyone like i didn't even care about going out i was like i just want to post that i'm at a club because a lot of people are gonna really be angry i love that i've yeah. never met a comedian that's also a lawyer that's interesting yeah no truly truly that's a rare mix because yeah. that's like two different mindsets it really is well i just call myself a comedian i'm not actually a comedian i'm a self-proclaimed comedian mm -hmm. i'm more just like i'm a rant queen Got i just it. say so you're not doing the actual shows the stand-up um no i wrote a few and i think that they're too offensive to say <laughs> out loud to not gonna lie like i'm not i can't say them in new york city i live in new york Damn. city like i yeah it's, it's pretty liberal over there. Yeah, it's, it's a lot liberal. And that's why I threw these events because I like wanted people to find a refuge in, you know, liberal hell, as I call it. Absolutely. So we're doing an election night party and I'm calling it America uh, season 46 finale. Oh, I love it. That'll be fun. <laughs> Isn't it? And I'm doing I'm doing it like a cool party. Like it's going to be crazy screens, like pizza, Shake Shack. Like I'm making it my wedding, basically. Everyone, they're like, why aren't you getting married? I'm like, because I'm throwing fun parties with a lot of alcohol and drinks called Red Wave. <laughs> Yeah. No uh, conservative guys out there catching your attention? Oh, that is actually a really funny. Well, I just have a lot of boyfriends. Boyfriends are fun. You like Boy hopping? Well, okay, this is the thing. I go through phases. I'll be like antisocial for a bit and like not date or whatever. And then I'm like, okay, I'm going to hop back in. Um, I actually once, I actually was seeing an illegal immigrant recently. Whoa. Oh, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, I'm not. Are you though? I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, we weren't seeing each other, but isn't that hilarious? I told everyone that and they're like, that is so funny. And I was like, no, no, he has status. I'll tell you my reasoning, okay? So I'm at the age where like, I want to find a life partner. Yeah. I know you're like, okay, where's, where's this bitch going with this? Okay. <laughs> I want to find my life partner. I want to find like a, a guy, good conservative values who I like will actually marry. So I'm not going to like kiss a boy who doesn't align with those values who I'm just like, you know, like I'm like, well, whatever. I'm killing time until I find my perfect man. Yeah. So, so I find people that I would never date and then I won't fall in love with them, okay? Interesting. So there's like mustache tattoo men who live in Bushwick who is not my type. That's not my, I don't like that. Yeah. So I date guys who are my, the exact opposite of my type because I know that I won't fall in love with them. <laughs> 
wild. No, it's actually so smart. It's so smart. But then because, you fall in love with no, them, because though, then don't I, you? Okay, kind of. But then I become <laughs> crazy. So right now, like, I have a crush on this boy who's, like, my neighbor. And he's, like, big on the internet, too. And, oh, this is so bad. You can't but, eat where you sleep or yeah, whatever no, that line but, is. Yeah, but don't where you eat or yeah, don't some- I don't know. We're yeah. definitely both saying it wrong, but that's okay. <laughs> um, but like, it's just, it. he's like, uh, but I think he, I slid into his DMs and I said like, hey, you look really autistic and it worked. Whoa, yeah. that worked. So if you guys I'd ever be offended, lie, even though I have autism. But. Yeah, but like, <laughs> no, but autism, I see autism as a positive trait. Like I like people who are like autistic and quirky and really? like interesting. So that's like a hot thing now? Yes. Okay. Yes. Bring back. I don't like hot men. Hot men, guys, over. I'm, this is a public service announcement that no one cares about hot men. People want like funny, witty, yeah. like quirky, like well, I, hot women too. They just lack personality. Exactly. And the thing is, like, you you need to find a former fatty, a eh? or like someone. I have so much energy, but the problem is, as soon as I open my mouth, like I'm going to get into trouble. Right. Um. So that's why I left corporate America. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know. But boys, yeah, I don't know. Boy, I definitely no husband on the horizon yet. Um. But I'm gonna keep. Uh, kissing illegal immigrants <laughs> and tattooed men from Bushwick and, and in the meantime, I don't even think he lives in Bushwick it just looked like he was yeah. from Bushwick but. female comedians have it tough I've had on a few on the show yeah. so Nikki Glazer's been on oh, cool. and Zhao Ying Summers very and cool. um, when you're that funny I think as a guy it yeah. kind of like it's very intimidating yeah. and like I like funny people I like funny men I have like very dry humor a lot of the time I'm very sarcastic like everything I say like the illegal immigrant thing obviously was complete <laughs> fabrication like that's completely not true and I have a big mouth and I just say and I can't, I have no filter. Yeah. So sometimes I'll say things like, I kissed an illegal immigrant, and it's just obviously not true, but like, I'm kidding. Anyways. No, as a guy, though, because if you're you making will. all my friends laugh and I can't make them laugh, it's like, exactly. why am I with this girl? <laughs> and it's like, she's the center of attention, but I love demanding a room. I love commanding yeah. a room. I love walking and taking over the place, but. I love it. Yeah. If, if you ran into Trump, what would you what would you tell him right now? Um, oh, that's so hard. I've actually thought about this many times. Yeah. I, I, uh, elevator pitch. I, uh, elevator pitch to Trump. Like, uh, I just want to let you know that you're the finance m- man of America's dreams. Uh, you know, like six so five. Kiss up to him. Yeah, I, like you're the finance boy because he's like he's his big ego, and it's not a bad thing. It's just he's an ego guy. Yeah. So you have to you have to touch his ego a bit. You know, he needs to say something that. Uh, or like Trump, like I'm making America hot again. Like mm, he would yeah, like that. Like, yeah, he would like that. Yeah, I would go with like, that one. I'd be like, I'm getting the hot conservatives together. And be <laughs> like, yes. I'm like, I'm showing people that conservatives aren't weird. Like it's so much more exciting to be fun and cool and like you could do it all. I vibe with conservative women. Uh, I don't have any liberal woman friends yeah. to be honest. No, so it, well, I actually do have a lot of liberal friends, but like we, well, actually, a lot of them don't speak to me anymore. No. I bet. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah Which is a shame because yeah. I'm friends with liberals, but yeah. liberal women. Yeah, same. I mean, partially because I have a fiance, but yeah. Well, th- that's a good thing. That is a positive thing. But this is the thing. So liberal women. So I have a lot of guy friends and everyone kind of hates on me now. And But I didn't always. I was not always the guy friend girl. Yeah. I became the guy friend girl because w- more women are liberal in general. Mm. And especially in like liberal hubs like New York City, you're going to get a lot more liberals. Oh, yeah. So that's my issue. Makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Any major city liberal woman. Exactly. So, so I have a lot of guy friends and it's just because like they're all conservative. We think the same. Like it's easier to with them they're not offended like i'll be like what's up fag like just like, <laughs> just like oh, i'm like a bro they're like we're a bro like the other day we were walking down the west side highway my friend was like oh this girl um like oh can you set me up with someone and he's like, what do you want? He's like, yeah, like a brunette girl. And then my friend is like, oh, Raquel, like, do you know any like hot brunettes? And I'm literally <laughs> standing there like, are you f- yeah. Like I, I'm like, what am I f- chopped liver? After we walk away, I go, dude, that guy was so hot. He was like, he was like dressed well. I'm like, what the f-? And he's Damn. like, oh, sorry, I forgot you were a girl. Through shade. I was like, bro. Anyways, Damn. Did you get with him? Um, well, he did follow me on Instagram. Okay. So there is hope. Work in progress. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, thanks for coming on. That was of fun. Of course. Thank you so much. Yes, sir.